My name is Corian. I handle Western Canada for the Sabre division and today I'm going to be taking you through the Sabre plant. So it's a bit noisy in here when all the guys are working so I came through here after hours but I'll splice in some good footage I took of them earlier working on each of these segments and then I'll just talk about some of the things. So first off is this frame. It's a new frame that we're using for the 24 model year. It's a bolted frame from Norco. A lot of the automotive engineers from Detroit came down to Elkhart and started that company, and now they're using these frames that they used to use in the Freightliner semi-trucks. So they're very rigid frames. They're actually lighter than what you would see in a typical steel frame. They're engineered to the floor plan, and it's actually a very good selling feature for us. Strong frames built to spec per the floor plan. To go along with the robust frame, we've got these 7,000 pound axles that we get from Lippert. So you get a lot of cargo carrying capacity across the board, depending on which model you're looking at, usually 2,000 pounds plus. So this next part of the tour, I'm going to be able to show you the polar package. So this material here, you see it's the black underbelly of what you'd typically see. And then on the other side is the reflective thermofoil. So we actually build it into the underbelly and then it's all along here. We bolt it into place and segment just like that. That way it's a lot easier for you to service the trailer. And then as I go along here, you'll see those ducts. So we actually route all the ducts through the cabinetry in our Sabres. We don't have in-floor vents. That creates more areas where we can actually put insulation, more robust floors. And then you still get the same heating capacity. We take that duct over here near the holding tanks. And the guys will actually mount one of those ducts specifically over the holding tanks. So while your heater is going, there's always air circulating into the underbelly giving you about a negative six Celsius degree rating before you'd need to skirt the underbelly. And then over the side here, you'll see where they've got the station set up for tomorrow. So they've got some insulation set into the flooring. They've got a lot of their studs laid out, that Darko material that they're gonna wrap around there to make it actually water sealed. And then they're gonna hoist this floor all the way over onto the frame. And it's a really cool process of how they hoist this over. So I'll make sure to get lots of footage time here for the overlay of the guys working and they pull everything through the floor, all the vents, all the wires, fasten it down, make sure everything's secure. And then they're gonna send it on down to where our cabinet prefab shops will actually take the cabinetry, hoist it onto the frames, fasten it down. And I'll show you a close up of some of the materials we're using. So the flooring is all gonna be 5 8 tongue groove plywood. This is all gonna get hoisted up, over and fastened onto the floor there. Then this linoleum over here actually has a seven year warranty. So it's very rigid. It's got a cold crack warranty on that seven years as well. So it's good for the cold climates like up north there. And then I like to point out in all the framing, all the cabinetry is real plywood. We're not using any OSB or particle board anywhere that's gonna deteriorate or be a lesser quality over time. Off to the side here is a look at the cabinetry prefab shop. So everything gets put together. It's real plywood there too. The next highlight for you will be the vacuum bonded walls. So these are all two inch thick vacuum bonded walls that we use. And the same goes for all the slide boxes, two inches thick, fully laminated. So you've got good quality there, low chances of delamination. And then I'll highlight the back wall. So it's actually a wood structure back wall and we put batten insulation in there. The good thing about that is it's good insulation quality with the batten, and then you can actually build a ladder into there if you wanted to. You've got some extra structure and flexibility back there when you're traveling. And then you can see here where they actually press that fiberglass onto the back of the wall. Make sure it's all fastened. Here's a good shot of one of our slide outs, as you can see. Nice two inches thick. And then we're also using the lino in a lot of our slide outs, well, all of our slide outs now. Now this station here gives you a good look at the roof decking. So it's a 3 8 OSB board on top of the roof. The reason for OSB is it's actually a water repellent wood. So if your PVC roof membrane ever were to tear, it would repel water, give you more time to service the roof. It's also more flexible. So up towards that front cap, has more rigidity there to bend around the front cap. So that's why we use what we do up here. But as you can see, I can get right up on top of this roof and walk all around it. No problem. And then another thing I'll show you before I end off here is that thermofoil. We actually have thermofoil that's under the wood 
gives you radiant heat insulation. Now, after all the main components get put together, they slap on all the extra accessory pieces. But once you get the final coach, the unit's going to look like this. So you've got the solar reflective windows there, the graphics package, kind of going along. And then I'll take you into final coach here. I'll show you what a unit looks like last bay right before it's ready to ship to a dealership haven't gone in there and touched anything up so you can see what it would look like if it were to go to your dealership okay so first off this is the 37 fll this is our top selling floor plan it's a nice front living model here you've got a big tv lots of storage fireplace there that's an electric fireplace as well so 5500 btu furnace you can see on the windows we've got the balances that tie in with the zebra shades. The zebra shades, if you haven't messed with those, you can actually black them out completely. So that's good for privacy. Also helps keep it nice and cool in here. And you'll see that we actually tie in no curtains with that nice black edging around the window. It's very classy. It's what they do in the river stones. So it gives people kind of a upper end feel in a lower price point trailer. And then lastly here is the theater seating. So you can recline in those, heat, massage, and then we'll go downstairs. So directly off the doorway here, first thing is the shoe storage that we built into the steps for this year. It's also illuminated. And then you've got the nice breakfast hutch area off the front living room. So lots of storage you can do in there. And then over here is a four person dinette. So you've got the bench on one side, two chairs, another nice pantry. That's a 12 volt refrigerator. So it's really big, looks residential, but only about 3.6 amps per hour is about what that fridge draws. We've got a solar package as well. It's a 100 watt solar panel mounted up on the roof, 30 amp charge controller. It's lithium ready, but we do a lead acid battery from the factory, so it charges up on your lot. You've got the nice big oven here, residential size. And then we also do the residential size microwave as well. It's actually an air fryer also. So if you look here, you can do all your convection on there. And then the solid surface countertops gives it a nice premium feel with the real wood cabinetry. Nice big sink is a farm style detachable faucet. And then one cool thing for this floor plan is down here, you've got a hidden step. So that step will fold down and make it a lot easier to hit these high cabinets up here if you've got some short people. And then wrapping it around, got some more storage in here. This little thing down here is actually our pet pantry, which is pretty cool. So I'll show you what that's all about. You pull it open, you've got a food dish, water dish in there. And then over here, utensil drawer, you can remove this. And then what really sells this floor plan is going to be the back. So you've got a nice king size bed back here. There's a lot of good storage underneath there. You've got a big window. As well as another window over there so you can do cross ventilation. You've got this wardrobe slide. And then behind this mirror is going to be your combo washer dryer prep area. So combo washer dryer is as small as it gets for our lineup on this floor plan specifically. Everything else, you can do both a washer and a dryer. And then as I round the corner here, there's actually a staircase. So go on up the staircase. You take a right and you're in the loft. So this is the main loft. It's actually pretty big. I'll get up in here. I'll show you the bookshelf. And then there's a little cubby over here. Power up all the devices. And then directly across from me, this is more of the storage loft. So I can't crawl on that one, but a little kiddo is good. Where you can put all your extra goodies. And then I'll go back downstairs. And that wraps things up here at the Sabre plant. I really appreciate you taking some time to watch this video. Again, my name is Corian. Just reach out if there's anything else I can help you with.